Okay. All right, guys, so when I picked up the car and, you know, getting the car ready to be driven home from where I bought the car, I was adjusting the side mirror and uh, I broke the knob. I'm pretty sure it was due to age. But anyways, I went to uh, a local pick and pull a couple weekends ago and went to go pick myself up one from there. So I'm going to get this guy installed so I can properly and basically adjust my side view mirror. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. Eat me. You guys see it right here. The freaking knob broke. But, um, uh, I think the proper way is to take off the door panel. But since this one is already broken, I'm just gonna uh, pop it out from here and hopefully don't damage this uh, area here. But,. I'll be it'll be fine if I damage the old one here itself. So let me give that a go and see how that goes All right guys, so before I get this video started Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos and to help support my channel. Thanks guys So looking at this one, it looks like there's two tabs on this side one large tab on this side Two tabs on this side and no tabs on this side So I'm gonna attempt to apply it from the two the top and the bottom and see if that comes out Hey, get that one to dad. What does that mean? Hmm. Oop, no luck there. Oh, this one might be good. Nope. All right, just got it out, and it was actually in there pretty good, so I had to use a little bit more force to take it out. More force than I expected to take it out. Uh, I didn't damage this area too much. Anyways, I pried it from this side first and popped this side out, and then used, you know, these two smaller flat heads to force it, push it down each end and pull it out, and then it finally came out. So now let's throw in this uh, other one in. Let's take off the connector. Oh, go ahead. Go. There you go. So just hit it from here. Then I'll come out. This little uh, tab here. And install here. So why you bike? Excuse me, Data. Go ahead. So why you bike? Yeah, somebody riding bike. Go. Connect this in. Now we should be able to just pop it right in. Alright, let's see. Let's turn this light on and see if the light comes on. Yep. Cool. Alright, now let's see if this works. Let's go to the left. Yep, both sides works. Both sides? Nice. So. So all of this, pretty simple, just requires a little force, didn't really damage the uh, handle cover that much, so it's good to go. Saves a lot more time than having to take off the whole door panel. Alright guys, so that's how you guys replace the side mirror switch on a Mark IV Jetta. Should be the same process for Golf, uh, GTI, and R32 too, so that should, hopefully that this video help you guys. Anyways, let me throw this away. Uh, so the previous owner wire, wired up the car for some subs, but did a pretty sloppy job. And I don't plan to put any subs in this car, so I, in this video, I'm going to take that out too. It's just pretty sloppy. Let me show you what it looks like. Check out this half-ass job uh, wiring set up on this Jetta. Coming through this outside of the door under here, but not top, tucked properly. You can see this hanging out. Power cable through here. Come back here, just hanging out right here, going through the back. All of that is going to come back out. No sound system for this car. All right, just finished turning on all the wires. Looks like I've got an RCA speaker and power and ground wire. All, all of that out. The car just feels so much cleaner with all of this out just because of the way the previous owner wired up. But I'm happy that those are out.
All right, so after finishing take out, taking out all of those wires, I remember I had an OEM uh, storage space for this uh, little radio area, so I just popped that right in. Just popped in pretty smoothly, and then got to fix this too. But I'll do that later. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope this video can help you for uh, replacing the side mirror switch. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. Comment any sort of feedback to help my channel grow. And like this video if you find it helpful. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.